from Aggie Memorial Stadium in Las Cruces, the red hot Georgia Southern Eagles are in town this afternoon. It's an afternoon non-conference tilt with the Aggies of New Mexico State. And Nevada and Georgia Southern will kick off to the Aggies. Watch out for Jason Huntley back deep. He has three kick return touchdowns in his previous 11. But with the wind behind the kick, the Aggies uh, will watch it go through the end zone. They will start in the last home game against Liberty. In the backfield is Huntley Atkins throws on a first down. And the pass is caught up near the third. Ball, the, the middle was open, so I'd look to the Yaks to see if they can get something across the middle. Here's a dump off to Huntley, who is so dangerous in the passing game, Danny. And he can put up big numbers like we talked about in the open. That is catch number 27 this year for the running back, Huntley. Play action to Jason Huntley. Cuts back to his right. He's across the 40. Big gain for Huntley. Up a block or two. Huntley got seven, so it's second down and three. This is Huntley, the ball carrier. Huntley has a first down and more across midfield. The Aggies will use three different running backs. Huntley into Georgia Southern Territory. Quick strike to Boone, his second catch. And he is sworn by four white jersey. Southern. Oh, I think they're going to be very aggressive, both offensively and defensively today. Running back in Gibson. In motion is Anthony Muse. Back to pass, underneath, caught. That is Caleb Mills, his first catch as a great catch across the middle. Seems like we talk about him every single week, Danny, and finally he sees some action and is able to give the Aggies something on the field. Pass is complete to Bryce Roberts, the tight end, who's been active. At least one catch now in four straight games for Bryce. Yeah, that's a great catch for Bryce. Muse in motion again. The Yankees got three on the pass and catch to Roberts on the ground to Gibson, who lowers his shoulder. And five out wide, empty backfield for the redshirt freshman, Josh Atkins. Design keeper, first down and more for Atkins. Atkins, first in goal for the Yankees. Hard there, he just didn't fall down. Back to the ground for Christian Gibson, and he will spin his way into the end zone. Six touchdowns in his previous three. You know, Christian Gibson. Five-yard rushing touchdown for Gibson. Kicking into the Dylan Brown will kick off to Georgia Southern. Brown, a junior from Chandler, Arizona. This will be interesting because Brown is kicking into the wind, so he's going to squib it, and it's going to be returnable for Georgia Southern. This is Wesley Kennedy the dangerous slot receiver who does so many things well for Georgia Southern. Um, it was enough to be a game time decision, but here he is. And Wirtz will throw on first down. Now he's going to keep it. He'll tuck it and he'll run. He gets by Terrell Hanks near midfield into Aggie territory. And he's finally shoved out of bounds by Shamad Lomax. They don't throw much, and, and Wirtz thought about it and takes it. What a strong runner. Ellis Richardson, the tight end to the right of the quarterback, Wirtz. The ball carrier is Logan Wright. And Wright is across the 20. Stop that right away on that option. High snap, caught by Wirtz, speared in the backfield. Pistol look here for Georgia Southern. Ball carrier again is Logan Wright, the redshirt freshman from Jack for Georgia Southern. They have only thrown the ball 48 times the entire year. They're going to run it on third and 10. Miles Veen was the first man there, finished off by Lopez in the Aggies. It is out of the hold uh, punter, McGill Bowerly. Field goal is up. And it is good for Tyler Bass. So he is now 8 of 8 this year, and he makes a backs today. Kicking into the win. That is booted there. By Passing plays. It was a balanced attack all the way down the field. It resulted in a Christian Gibson touchdown run. Play action fake caught by Jonathan Boone. Boone will reach out towards midfield. Big gain on first. Boone went with that little uh, post in there and just open field. Catch and run of 24 on the pitch. It is Gibson into Georgia Southern Territory. Gibson really stepped up these last few games. I'm really impressed. Yeah, Doug Martin said earlier this week that last week was the best game the O-line has played this year. A little stop and start there on the catch by Christian Gibson. Right, I think they just get into a rhythm and they feel good. Third down and two, Gibson zooms ahead for the first down and more. Four out wide for the Aggies. Running back is Jason Huntley. 
Atkins will fake to Huntley, fires across the middle to a streaking O.J. Clark. His first catch this half. Playing on cover two, so there's two deep safeties, and I think they just backed off too far. Bounce to the outside and into the end zone. Touchdown, Jason Huntley. Point after is good for Dylan Brown. And, yep. Partly because Wesley Kennedy is so dangerous. This is Najee Thompson, though, on the return, and he has tripped up shy of the 30. It's Wendy Southern from the 28. Mateo Garrett is stuffed, sniffed out, and just a great all-around play. Bunch formation around Shy Wirtz. You have Logan Wright, Mateo Garrett, and Wesley Kennedy. The dive give on the option is to Logan Wright, the redshirt freshman who's been the primary ball carrier. So third down and three for Georgia Southern. Option pitch to Kennedy, and it looks like he's short of the first down by a yard. The punter is McGill Bowerly, redshirt sophomore from Athens, Georgia. This is going to bounce towards O.J. Clark. Dangerous play. We've seen this before from O.J., who danger to go for the Yankees. Ball is placed at the six after the really good punt by Bowerly. The pitch to Gibson. He's tripped up. No gain of the play. For we'll move the ball out, so if you do need to punt it, you can at least get covered, get the yardage back. Running back Royce Caldwell is a slot receiver in this formation. So in the backfield is Gibson. He gets the carry. The Aggies can use Colts. Big play here. Atkins sees something, so he changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Boy, is this guy bright. Doug Martin talks about it every single week. Atkins back to throw on a third and two. Find some running room. He's in a slide. He looked to the marker, Danny. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. That's a smart play right there. That's a quick, maturing quarterback. Atkins needed two. He got three for the first down. The Aggies will throw good protection. Low throw, though, intended for Caldwell. Pistol back is Jason Huntley on second down and 10. Screen pass to Clark. Clark still on his feet. Flag is thrown. Aaron is a referee today. Holding. Offense, number nine. That pedal will be enforced half the distance to the goal from the previous spot. Second down. It's our Drew Dan, so on that screen paint on the Aggies. Atkins inside his own end zone, streaking around, caught by Jonathan Boone again. And he crawls his way up to the 15-yard line, so he gets third and long. Atkins on a third and 12, double coverage, and it was nearly caught by the running back, Jason. He, and he was with him all the, all the while. You can kind of see him just stared at right there. Nice break right at the last second by Brinson to knock it out there. On Quavian Brinson, one of the good ones for into the wind for the Aggies. Rugby style punts. Backspin, not an Aggie bounce. <laughs> and it's going to be touched. 472 yards and four rushing touchdowns this year, so a big loss for Georgia Southern. Wirtz will throw, and it is complete to the tight end, Ellis Richardson. And for Shy Wirtz, that is his first pass attempt today, just his 48th. Well, that was just going to be an easy catch there, but let's see what happens defensively. We're in a zone, and you see a, a, the tight end just kind of sneaks out into the flats, and it was just wide open. It was behind the linebackers in front of the uh, cornerback there, and just a nice area to sit down in there and catch that pass. 31-yard catch for Richardson, just his third catch this year. Option die play, Wesley Kennedy, the slot receiver out of the backfield with his second rushing touchdown this year. We talked about the speedy running back, receiver, kick returner. You want to keep your eye on him. Looked like motion going one way, he came back. Point after for Bass. Through and it's 43 return touchdowns in his previous 11 games dating back to last year. And here in this first half, if you're an Aggie return, motion man is OJ Clark, the slot receiver. Play action pass completed to Royce Caldwell. 
Wrestled down near midfield by Brinson. 26-yard connection. The Aggies back into Georgia's southern territory. Quick strike to Boone, oh. and this one is dropped. I think Boone looked up, get, but first you got to bring that in. That would have been his fifth catch. He already has four catches for 40 yards. The Aggies run it on second down and swarmed is Christian Gibson. Right there was Third down and nine for Atkins, who steps up in the pocket. Pressure came. He still fires. Incomplete. Batted away by Drew. So the Aggies will have to punt for the second time today. Another rugby-style punt by Theisler that hangs up in the air. Fair catch is called for by Kennedy, who is run into by one of his teammates. Shai Wirtz on the option. Option dive to Monteo Garrett. Three Aggies right there. Shai Wirtz is back in at quarterback. This is LaRoche, the redshirt freshman, his first carry today as he gets right at the first down marker. Matt LaRoche is a redshirt freshman from Venice in Florida, 5'9", 165. And he, and he is a very speedy. No. Can't afford too many injuries there in the backfield. Option dive to Monteo Garrett, who reaches up to the 30 yard line, he gets five yards. Stick your nose in there and, and stuff that up. All right back to the die play. Switching it up to Logan Wright, the redshirt freshman from Jacksonville. We couldn't have any more contrasting offenses going at it today. Two very different offenses. Slipping away from a tackle is Garrett. Ten completions the entire year, and that includes this game. Wesley Kennedy used as a ball carrier as he runs into safety Ron LaForce. He's a slot receiver. Whatever it is that you're going to do with him, you have to stop him near the line of scrimmage or he'll do just right there. He'll throw a little move on you and get to the outside. So Buford just kind of got shook a little bit. Georgia City touchdown earlier. That last run went for 12. Right back to Kennedy, he's tackled from behind by Terrell Hanks. First time we have called his name today. He's back after missing three words and Georgia Southern. On the option, the carrier is Garrett and Eagles. Wirtz looking to throw, now looking to run. Wirtz has the first down and more. He's inside the 20 before he's finally taken down by DeMarcus Owens. That's the hardest rush from the line of scrimmage. Everyone's out in a pass and you're trying to also spy the quarterback who's a very quick and fast guy and he squeezes out and there's no one there so he can get all the way to well under. Mateo Garrett again straight up the gut. Tackled from behind by DeMarcus Owens and Shimon Lomax was around there as the eight. Option pitch, Wesley Kennedy. Kennedy, second efforts, touchdown. His second rushing touchdown today, his third this year. Well, that's the thing about the option is that it's it's like two and one in ba two on one in basketball, right? But as expected, they are just running the football, 20 carries for 156 as a team. This is Royce Caldwell who touched it, so he has to take it out, and the Aggies will have tough field position again at the 14 yards in the San Antonio area. Motion man is O.J. Clark. Running back here is Jason Huntley, who cuts back to his left. Running room for Huntley, who sidesteps out of correct path to the football. That would have been six. Huntley again, chased from behind, spins to get a yard there. The previous carry for Huntley goes for 21. Atkins will throw on second down and nine. Completed to Drew Dan. His first wavy in Brinson. Third down, nine yards to go for the Aggies. Time again for Atkins, throws across the middle. And this time, Drew Dan does hang on. But either way, get the first down. 
15-yard connection. Rolling left, Atkins being chased by Griffin. Oh. And it's dropped by Shale. Quick strike to the far side. Royce Caldwell has a first down. Dropped the ball after the tackle. Then he pounces on it. First and 10. Atkins downfield, caught by the five foot eight Royce Caldwell. How about that for a catch? I liked it. I like the composure of him getting up in line. Good, good, calm presence by Josh. Nice pass to get the ball up there and just goes up and hangs on to that thing. Great concentration on that by Royce Caldwell. First down and 10 from the 11. Right back to Gibson. Powers ahead. Second effort for Gibson. The way he plays football, it's just a never die attitude. Second down and four yards. Gibson dancing around and he won't go anywhere. Yard line. Gibson's in the backfield with Atkins. Atkins will look towards the end zone. Rolling right, has time to throw. Does he have a receiver? Atkins will throw it out of bounds to avoid the sack. And the Aggies will have to bring out and is with him. Around this year is seven of nine on field goal attempts and we have a tie game. Well, it's not a touch. Back this many points on the board because Georgia Southern only allows 17 per game. They've already allowed 17 today in about 20 minutes. They've held two. He's only thrown for 414 yards the entire year. And they're gonna run it again. No surprise there. Gonna move the change for Logan Wright and Georgia Southern. Put it up in there and just pour it in there. You see someone pulling across there, a little quick trap up the middle, but as long as they could create a big gap in there. 257 rushing yards per game. Play action, and here's a pass. Mateo Garrett makes the catch. Rare pass, just the second ball thrown. They average 28 points per game. They only allow 17 per game. They are 5-1 this year, 3-0 in the Sun Belt. Monteo Garrett will get the first down. Total of offense last week, the third highest total at FBS this year. Wesley Kennedy runs right into Terrell Hanks to the 45-yard line, so he gets two on the first down. He's out for the year with an injury at that nose tackle position. LaRoche wrapped up quickly, no gain. That was been high, one and a half for loss and a half sack, which also was a season high. All last week, Roy Lopez can't get to Wirtz. Wirtz directing traffic, pass is caught by Devarius Bargner. How about that, Hootie? As he kept the play alive with his legs, you see right there, Roy Lopez just couldn't get there. And as he keeps the play alive, directing, directing all his receivers, and you get a linebacker, I think that's Hanks, had to come off his guys to come up to Wirtz. And that's what happens when you have a quarterback that scrambles. Do you stay back or go get him? If you go get him, he dumps the ball. 23-yard catch and run for Bargner, the freshman, just his second catch during his freshman season. And this is Logan Wright, the redshirt. Five dive. Yes, sir. Wesley Kennedy on the ground, no gain. The Aggies have had some stops, but then they yard line. He wants to run again. First down for Wirtz. Spins away from Ron LaForce. And he's taken down at the Georgia Southern at the Aggie five yard line. Kennedy already has two rushing touchdowns. He is wrapped up by Roy Lopez. Pistol look, Logan right, the pistol back. In motion is the tight end, Cam Brown. Logan Wright is gonna be short of the goal line and it's gonna be third down and short. Three yards to go on a third and goal for Georgia Southern. That's a that's a great uh, call by Georgia Southern, a great stop, right? This, this dive has been working all day long and you just go power dive right up in there and see if you can't get it. Aggies dug their heels in there and made a great stop. Now this is a little tougher. Clock's moving. 
And a timeout is called by Georgia Southern. 12 seconds remaining in half number one. Third and goal for C.J. Wright is in the backfield. He is 290 pounds. Look out for big number 94 here on a third and goal. They fake it to Wright. Rolling Wright is Wirtz, and he has the end zone for the touchdown. The Aggies were worried about the big fella, and Wirtz scampered in. Yeah, you know, you want to stop the dive, but you also want to be able to say, keep your eye on Wirtz. He's one where you got to know where he is at all times, and we just got caught up in there, and he just walked that one in, made it easy. Point after from Tyler Bass. Look at that ball flying around with the wind. Towards Huntley and Caldwell. And he's going to give the Aggies a chance to return this. And it's Royce Caldwell as the return man. Royce Caldwell is taken down to the 40 as time expires. So the Aggies had a shot to get a return touchdown as time expired, but Caldwell. You know, certainly I, I believe he, he feels like this. Time to get things underway at half two here in Las Cruces at Aggie Memorial Stadium. Adam Young, d &E with you. It is a sliver of a kick into the wind for Dylan Brown to start things. Wes Kennedy is the return man for Georgia Southern. He's a good one, and he runs over Ron LaForce, and he gets up to the 40-yard line. And that's right. We're passing clearly, passing strong, running from there. We have to stop the run. you got to figure out a way to stop that dive and then words. Option dive to Logan Wright. That is his eighth carry today. He's been good in the absence of Wesley Field. It's second down and one for the five and one Georgia Southern Eagles out of Statesboro, Georgia. Option dive again, first down for Garrett into Aggie territory. Drop there by Terrell Kennedy's in the backfield. So is Logan Wright. Kennedy will veer to the outside across the 40. Good enough for a first down again, so the chain running game for Georgia Southern. The pitch, Kennedy again. And he's met there by Demarcus Owens. There the Aggies have done a pretty good job today on the pitch yep. this afternoon in Las Cruces. Motion man is Richards in the tight end. Turn around and a handoff straight up the gut. Logan Wright dragging tacklers near the 20. They're going to mark him at the Words the quarterback, hands it off to Monteo Garrett, who dances around, finds a hole, tripped up. Did he get in? Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Would you know, have scored 24 the previous 27. You, you know, Adam, as we're looking at this play right here to see if he scored or if he's short or not, there's one thing I do notice is that our defensive line line and bring them all and so let's just go. Let's just let's just rumble right here. Logan Wright powers ahead, and he's on his feet in the end zone. Rushing touchdown number one in the career of Logan Wright, the redshirt freshman. Again, nothing new here, right? They're just sticking with that same dive right up the middle there, and then just pushing the linemen back into the backers, and the backers are just getting lost in all the... And it's good, 31-17, Georgia Southern. Two rushing touchdowns today for Kennedy, one for Shy Wirtz, and now one for Bass needs a holder, and he boots it through the end zone. Georgia Southern with a win today would go Nera, and Chad Lunsford is getting things back to normal in Statesboro, Georgia. On the first down and 10, Josh Atkins, who has played great again today, is rushed from behind. He gets it loose. He was rushed. Jason Huntley's in the backfield with Josh Atkins, the quarterback. Huntley finds a hole up the middle. Jason Huntley will move the chains as he picks up 10 yards. Back to Jason Huntley, who's trying to squirt free. First man in the stop for Georgia Southern was senior Logan Huntley. Atkins rolling right. Doesn't have a man. Gets a few yards as he sidesteps out of bounds, and they're going to mark him. Boring. Aggies are really good today on a third down. Four of seven. Atkins lost the football. He might have her first turnover today. Georgia Southern football. It slipped out of Josh's hand. Georgia Southern 
Here they just kind of fell back in a zone and they were deep and not allowing anything back there. And it looks like that just fell out of his hand, out of his grips. Isaac McLean had a shot to get to it for the Yankees, but it was Quan Griffin with his first fumble recovery this year for Georgia Southern. Well, that puts... Shai Wirtz at quarterback for Georgia Southern. Hand off to Wes Kennedy. Kennedy breaks the tackle of Ron LaForce. He's still on his feet, and he's taken down from behind by Leon. First half where you had gang tackles, guys flying to the ball. We're just missing tackles, and, and if that's that's just going to allow them to make an easy run right at the goal line here. Option dive again to Logan Wright, who's a big body, and he continues to stampede forward. He is six foot, 200, and thirst to run the football a ton. Once again, they are averaging 257 rushing yards per game. They're going to get that again today. Mateo Garrett's in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. And they continue to pile it on here on the road, looking for their first road not conference with the point after out of the hold of McGill Bowerly, the punter. 38-17, Georgia Southern. Rushing touchdowns. For went, it just went all the way around, and now they gotta, they got to figure out a way to get back and score and get this back to a two-score game where they can dial. Eight different receivers have caught a pass. Pistol back is Gibson. Gibson with a good run on first down. Gibson is up. Jumps to the right and sees it back into the left side and just jumps in there, and, but takes care of the football too. Right back to Gibson, no gain. Second down and 10. Right back to Gibson again. And he can't get to the edge. He was stopped by Raymond down and 10 for the Aggie offense. Atkins throws, intercepted. Intercepted by Kendall Vildor. Takes it to midfield where he's tripped up. Vildor with his second pick this year. The junior from College Park in Georgia. And you really should. And then that's the case here. I think he was just pressing too hard, and he let games. I guess that reflects the, the winning the winning season they, they're having. Words drops back. He's in a throw. Rifles a pass that is caught by OB Fortune, his first catch today. Yes, Kennedy and Wright. He goes to Kennedy, nearly dropped for a loss by Buford, but... He makes it a positive gain with his second effort. One for Georgia Southern. Right behind Wirtz. And the handoff goes to Wright straight up the gut. It was wide open for the redshirt freshman to barrel through. Ben struggling to get off blocks last week, allowing numerous explosion plays, and that has happened at times here today as well. Here's another big hole and another rushing touchdown for Logan Wright. He came in with none, and he has two here this afternoon. Well, you know, when you when you uh, can't stop the run, you're going to see it again and again and again. We see a, a nice big hole in there. Stands up defense lineman, creates a seam. Backers are out, couldn't get to him in time, and safeties were, were nowhere to be seen, and he just walks on in there. A one-yard rushing touchdown earlier in this quarter for Logan Wright. This one from 13 yards away. Extending the Georgia Southern lead. And it's now 45-17 Eagles. It was 24-7. that He's got to march down the, the field quickly. And um, it just kind of forced one into coverage that wasn't quite there. And that's what happens when you get behind him. The play. We have a dead ball on sportsman like conduct, number 54 of the kicking team. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced at the 25 yard line. First down. Well, the Yankees catch a break there. Sessions, nonetheless. Low snap, dump off, completed to Jason Huntley. Good block on the outside as well. And the Yankees are into Eagles territory. Good play in front since the first quarter since we've got there. But not like that. False start, offense number 78. Five yard penalty, first down. When it rains, it pours, and the Aggies. What you need to do to, to get on the board her, uh, in a quickly, and it just sometimes you do that. Quick strike to the sideline. That pass was 15 for the Aggies. Low snap again. There's been some bad snaps as of late from Jamin Smith, the center. The Aggies. Deep and allow you to catch it underneath, but they're not going to give you anything 
that deep. The Aggies need the 33. Atkins fires short of the first down marker. Wow. Second effort, though, might have got it. That was Drew Dan on the catch. Here we go, fourth down. Fourth and one for the Aggies. They're going to go for it, of course. Design keeper for Atkins. And he gets it. He needed one, he got two, and the Aggies move the chains. Is still just a freshman very early in his career. Atkins will throw on first down. He steps up in the pocket underneath. That's Jason Huntley, who's taken down by Joshua Moon, the senior free safety. Might have been a horse collar, though. There's I think a flag it, down. I think it was. One's covered down there. Let's see if he just starts high there. But hmm. Would you agree, though, Danny, that at times, because Atkins has played so well, we forget he's only a freshman? I, I would. I absolutely agree. And when you were saying that, personal foul, horse collar, defense, 15 yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. You know, Adam, I, I do agree with you. I think we forget that he. Motion man is Jonathan Boone. Atkins looking left. He throws left to Boone. Boone makes a move inside the 10 yard line. He's tripped up there. Jersey on top, but. Jason Huntley veering off to his right, just short of the goal line. That to happen here. Gonna go a little tempo now, try to get it in there. Atkins right back to Huntley, and he's taken down. Big tackle right there. Tied in, Bryce Roberts is in. In the backfield is Huntley, low snap. Huntley gets the carry, and Huntley's in the end zone. First. Point after is through for Dylan Brown. So it's 45-24. We'll try to use clock. It's a ball control offense. It's hard to play from behind against a Georgia Southern offense like they have. Squibber by Dylan Brown, pounced on at the 30-yard line. You won't see Georgia Southern give up very many. See what he can come up with. Wes Kennedy takes the handoff. Big pickup again on first down. They are in no hurry ahead by 21, late in the third on the road. Pistol back is right. Already has two rushing touchdowns today. He's just dragging tacklers. He drags Javon Ferguson. Their last non-conference road win came when they were FCS, and it came at Florida in the swamp. Monteo Garrett, first down carry to lead the Aggies. This is LaRoche. Just his third carry today. Another red shirt freshman, the top. Right dives here tonight. Option handoff to Monteo Garrett. He's had a good day. That is, and you end up trying to just bring people, extra people in. Second down and two. Right back to Garrett, finds a hole, and he squirms past Shamai Lomax down to the. Need to get a stop first on defense here. Wes Kennedy, slot receiver, who's been used in the running game a lot today. Kennedy back to redshirt sophomore from Clinton, South Carolina. Right back to freshman Logan Wright. And he tripped himself up, or he might have got by Ron LaForce there. And he's slow to go off. Yeah, that's a, that's a big hole. Uh, again, there, there's some gaping holes in there, and that is, he's gimping off there. for Georgia Southern. Which is not unlike them. Very similar to what they usually do week by week. Shane Jackson right there to make the tackle for the Yankees, the first man to stop him. But like we talked about, they're going to milk the clock. Straight up the gut, Wes Kennedy Pinballs off of Ron LaForce and also Komote Kofi at the 11. Georgia Southern has been great on third down today, five of seven. 
Logan Wright can't find a hole up the middle this time, and he's going to be short. A couple yards short, so if you're Georgia Southern, one of one today, made from 41 yards, and he is right through to make this a four-possession game. That's a big kick for Tyler Bass. Southern in position for their sixth win this year, which would give them bull eligibility. And this one's going to bounce out of bounds, so not a good kick for Georgia Southern, and they're going to have to start at the 25-yard line. Bull game the at the FBS team. level. The ball will be placed at the 35-yard line, first down. first down. That was in 2015, even though they won nine games in 2014. Josh Atkins will throw on first down. Has some time to midfield. Hauled in by O.J. Clark, who hasn't had a really busy. Lots of patience. Holding offense, number 78, 10-yard penalty. It's Brian Trujillo again. And that is the second penalty today. He's going to have to do it again a little farther this time. So take away the catch for Clark, who has combined for 15 in the previous two weeks, but just one catch today. Christian Gibson having a good day again. It's across the 30 before he is up. The pay, play you balanced as well. Second down and 13 to the sideline for Gibson. Jason Huntley is the running back on third and two. Adkins checks down to Huntley, catches at midfield. Huntley sidesteps at the 40. Good pickup, 373 all purpose against Louisiana. Good game again today. Two touchdowns today for Jason Huntley. Atkins will have to whistle it out of bounds. Almost caught by place kicker Dylan Brown today. 243 for the Aggies, only 77 for Georgia Southern. Jason Huntley eludes a tackle. Larry Rose like on that one, Danny. It's third and four. Gibson has the first down, and he's up near the 15 to the 16 yard line. 15. The Aggies at the Eagles 16 yard line. Atkins will run, gets a block from Tevis Abraham and slides at the 11. Might have been a late hit I by Georgia Southern. I think the targeting, defense number 54. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run, automatic first down. The previous play is under further review. There we go, take care of the football because he was carrying it out there a little bit. Slide, so he should be safe, but then there was a, a lead tackle with a leading helmet. Did he lower the crown? Did you see that? I could hear covering someone and the play is taking so long. He'll be first down. Could you hear that Danny? I look at the numbers today for Atkins. Very uncharacteristic. Two turnovers today are Josh, who has to get away from a rusher. That's Randy Wade Jr., and he's taken down. Ball is loose. Looks like the Aggies did recover, though, right around the 15-yard line. You look to the back of the end zone. I think that's Jonathan Boone to the very back of the end zone. You see his legs here. You see him popping up right there, and I think that's who was trying to get the ball to. on the field was a fumble recovered by the offense, second down. Atkins loses eight yards. Empty backfield, five out wide for the Aggies. Sideline pass to Boone. He has a lot of running room. He's across the five-yard line. He gets back to the original line of scrimmage and then a couple more. So third and goal from the one. In the backfield, Huntley looking for his third touchdown, and he has it. Touchdown. Forty-eight, thirty-one. Jason Huntley had a rushing touchdown of nine yards in the first. A way to get stops up front, create a turnover, something. Today's game is brought to you by the New Mexico Department of Agri Agriculture, Farm Bureau Financial Services, and the New Mexico Farm and Livestock Bureau. Triple option attack leads to a carry here for Monteo Garrett. The had to use one earlier. Tight end Ellis Richardson is in. He's to the left. He's a lead blocker there for Garrett, and that's one of the better stops all day. Yeah. Hanks turned out to be a pretty chilly night. And a big reason why is the wind. Our stuff has been blowing up here the entire night. It's another windy day here in Las Cruces. We're used to this. 
position to go to 6-1 and one this year and reach bull eligibility. Option dive to Garrett, and he's going to finish shy of the first down by a few yards. So Wind is in his face. O.J. Clark is back deep for the Aggies. Look at this one just hang up in the air. This is a tough fair catch. Well done by O.J. Clark. Coming up. Empty backfield for Josh Atkins on first down. And this oh. one probably should have been picked by... Reese does have one interception this year. Pressure comes. Atkins gets away. Whistles a pass. Good throw for the Aggies. Five receivers in right now. We'll see if the Eagles show pressure again. Good job up front. Streaking across the oh. middle was Huntley. And I don't know if he thought a defender was right in front. Bullet right at him, but he just wasn't looking back. The Aggies run it there on second down. And that was Huntley as botched snap by Atkins. And it was a pretty good snap, so it's going to be fourth and long for the Aggies. The Aggies need the 48. Atkins fires, caught for the first down. Jonathan Boone is wrestled down by Kendallville. Eight different receivers have caught a pass from Atkins today, who is 22 of 34. And he gets rid of that one. He was hurried by Raymond Johnson. Back to the ground for Christian Gibson. So Offense, number 65, 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Holding on Tony Bello down in 20. Long way to go for the Aggies to the sideline. That is Anthony Muse, and that's the first. Oh, some big numbers, but those big numbers just haven't been holding on. Adkins right back to the sideline, right back to Anthony Muse near the original line of scrimmage, which was the 49-yard line. Need the 39-yard line of Georgia Southern. Ball is loose, and Georgia Southern has smothered it. Third turnover in this half. State. Georgia Southern's 3-0 in the Sun Belt, so they have a chance at a Sun Belt title this year. This is a good football team, Danny. It is a good football team, and they're gonna, they'll, uh, it'll be a good game. Right, I think the offense is coming together. We had some turnovers, but that's from pressing, trying to get a lot of points, get things moving. The defense, we just had too many get by us, and we got behind the chains and the score, and, and the clock, they just ate it down. Big congrats, too, to Chad Lunsford and his program. What a job he has done. And they're going to be bowl eligible in 6-1. and one. It's going to be just the second time being bowl eligible at the FBS level, albeit they've only been FBS for five years now. They were 2-10 and 10 last year. They were 0-6 when Chad Lunsford took over. He had the interim tag. It was taken off before the final game last year. He was 2-4 and four as the head coach last year. And now they are 6-1 and one in his first full season as the head coach. And this is a program that was a powerhouse at the FCS level. And they are well on their way to doing the same at the FBS level. 48-31, the final here at Aggie Memorial Stadium. NM State drops their second straight. And Georgia Southern with their fourth straight win. And bowl eligibility on the road in Las Cruces. First non-conference road win for Georgia Southern at the FBS level. When we come back, we'll have post-game activities. 48-31, Georgia Southern defeats the Aggies here in Southern New Mexico. Final score is 48-31. New Mexico State falls to Georgia Southern here today at Aggie Memorial Stadium. NM State drops to two and six. Georgia Southern now six and one, and they are bowl eligible in 2018.